good morning students today we have discussed or study the examples of six determination last lecture we have also studied the detailed information or introduction about the six determination of human being particularly in a human being six determination is x x x y type of six determination in human being then in the sex determination process of human being is discussed with the help of a particular examples first of all in the sex determination process of human being for example if sperm containing x chromosome male sperm containing x chromosome fertilizes the egg okay male sperm Fertilizes with egg. Fertilizes with egg due to fertilization. Diploid zygote is formed. Diploid zygote is formed, and this diploid zygote grows into female child. Grows into female child. So the first first step is the sex fertility. Sperm containing X chromosome. This is X chromosome that is this one that like this with A to form A diploid zygote. So the male sperm and female A and so fertilization hope that it can be diploid zygote. And this diploid zygote is all that grows into a female. First condition of action is the next generation gas is a female. Example of the other part. The second condition is E. Sperm containing Y chromosome. Sperm containing Y chromosome. Fertilizes the egg. But then the sperm will not be able to pair with the Y chromosome. And fertilizes the egg. Again, they develop a diploid zygote. Okay? Diploid zygote is formed that goes into male child. That goes into male child. कारण मेल मध्ये जो की होती तो मध्ये वस्ता x एंड y इन फीमेल मध्ये x एक्स म्हणून वरती न्यू जनरेशन इज फीमेल चाय सेकंड कंडिशन मध्ये न्यू जनरेशन इज मेल चाय आणि या दोन कंडिशन वरून आपण असं प्रूव करू शकतो दिस इंडिकेट्स दैट सेक्स ऑफ चाइल्ड एनी चाइल्ड सेक्स ऑफ चाइल्ड इज डिपेंड्स अपॉन द टाइप ऑफ स्पर Fertilizes the egg. Which type of sperm? Sperm containing X chromosome. New generation is male child. Sperm containing Y chromosome. New generation is male child. That is why these two conditions. This indicates that the sex of child is depends upon the type of sperm fertilizing the egg. That's why we need to know type of sperm. Fertilizing the eggs. Hence, the father is responsible. Father is responsible for determination of sex of child. Mother is not responsible determination of sex of human child. Father is responsible to identification to responsible the determination of sex of child and. Not the mother is responsible. These are two conditions are explained in the book. So, for example, this is the parental generation. This male is crossed over with female. Their genotypes are X5, X6. Their genotypes are from the separation of gametes. X5 separated, X6 separated. The process of meiosis. After separation of gametes, they separated four gametes are mixed with each other. Such process is called as is called as fertilization. And in both the cases, the two types of sperm are the X Y sperm and the egg. It's a common definition that the two types of sperm are the same generation. Sperm are the X chromosome. In the last sperm are the X chromosome. New generation is female. And the X and I X Z. The second condition is sperm containing Y chromosome. That should be a sperm containing Y chromosome. Next generation is male, but it is XY. Question number X. This is the process. Male sperm containing X chromosome, X X means female. Sperm containing Y chromosome with X and Y, X Y means male. But here the third condition is what? Sperm containing X chromosome fertilizes the egg. If 
given zygote is small and that goes into event. Sperm containing Y chromosome fertilizes the egg, given zygote is small, that goes into a male child. Later, the three different persons carry to male to female. Okay, so what are the kinds of types of infection? Which types are they? Conclusion: What is called? It is concluded that the sex determination of human being is one as to one. Sex ratio is one as to one. Sex ratio is one as to one. This is a process of sex determination in human beings.